Now, it's the first day of the phase two of the vaccine drive and there's confusion on ground over the registration process. Now, after several people face problems registering for the drive, Health Ministry has clarified this morning that registration for phase two will be done through the COVID website and not the app as the app is only for administrators. Meanwhile, technical glitches on the website have also marred the registration process. While the COVID server on the Arogya Setu app is facing issues, the COVID website has reported issues in Tamil Nadu, Chandigarh, as well as in Delhi. So these are some of the glitches that in fact have in, been reported as far as the registration process on COVID is concerned. Uh, the government has of course come out with a clarification now that it is primarily the website through which you have to register the beneficiaries who are eligible for this phase of uh, the vaccine drive and uh, it is not through the uh, app that one has to register, it's on the website. So that is one important update which has come through now and the other important thing of course is that despite the fact that the government is saying go to the website there are technical glitches being reported in a few states like Delhi and Tamil Nadu and also in a few places uh, that we have in fact seen, seen reported in uh, a couple of places in Chandigarh as well as in Bengaluru that these glitches have in fact been reported on the COVID website. So there is still some uh, technical hitches which have marred the process but nonetheless phase two of the vaccination drive has in fact started across the country today and uh, we can in fact see is what we can see is that the few uh, that a few people have already got vaccinated since this morning of course remember in this phase it's the senior citizens who are eligible uh, and also for people above the age of 45 who have comorbidities. Remember, the government had also issued a release on the kind of comorbidities which are uh, which people can have, which are eligible in this process, uh, in this phase of the vaccine drive. And it is primarily also in order to allay the concerns that Prime Minister Modi himself got uh, vaccinated today. He took Bharat Biotech's co-vaccine jab at Ames, Delhi this morning. Let me go across to my colleague Srija, uh, who is... In fact, joining us from Bengaluru, Srija, so what we can in fact see is that an important clarification has come in from the government now about the fact that the registration process will have to be through the COVID website and not the app. So did you meet certain people on the ground today uh, at the vaccine center that you're standing at where they did say that there was some sort of confusion that they were facing in terms of the registration process? Well, more than confusion, we can look at a sense of uh, where a lot of uh, elders are trying, they are right now fuming at the fact that, you know, it's been over two and a half hours, they're waiting at various vaccination centers, but it is only now that the clarification has come in where not everybody can actually use the COVID app. Now, if I could go across to one particular beneficiary here, uh, ma'am, you have, how did you actually get this printout and what was the details I told you? Uh, so I got this from the web website and... Uh, you registered through the website? Yeah, I registered through the website. It was a little slow. Uh, there were, you know, I had to do a multiple attempts to get the OTP and everything, but it worked finally. Okay. Yeah. Did you try uh, initially, you know, downloading the app? Did you try doing so? Um, no, I didn't try the app, but I was trying to, I have Arogya Setu, I was trying to try, do through that, okay. but I didn't get any app um, update on that. I couldn't register using Arogya Setu. So you have registered through the portal. Can you please show us the, um, what really is this application about? So this is the application, which is the vaccination appointment details. So this is once after uh, the beneficiary registers on the COVID portal. Now, this is the kind of details that comes into this particular uh, beneficiary, which is the vaccination appointment details. So as far as uh, this particular center is concerned, we understand that uh, there are a lot of other beneficiaries who are also trying to register through the COVID app and download that particular application and then go through the vaccination process. And of course, as far as Karnataka are concerned, we understand that the vaccination uh, drive has not kick-started uh, just as yet. Remember, uh, even Dr. K. Sudhakar, the Minister for Medical Education and Health Minister for the state, uh, uh, only after he launches uh, the plan was to kick-start the entire vaccination drive. But as of now, we understand uh, the uh, officials are just uh, getting ready for especially the vaccination to begin. But more so, what we're looking at, the issues and the confusions at various vaccination centres is especially registering and feeding in those details, especially on the portal.
Right. Uh, there's Shrija, as you were mentioning, that there are a lot of people, especially senior citizens who are eligible for this phase, are in fact facing certain hurdles and they are waiting for hours and especially this clarification coming in at this time. Um, let me go across to my colleague Mayuresh, who's joining us from Mumbai. Mayuresh, so what we were seeing re being reflected on ground there in Bengaluru, uh, where some of the beneficiaries are saying that they did, uh, they were in fact not aware of the fact that registration had to be done through the website and not through the app. Is that something similar that you are seeing among uh, the people who have turned up for vaccination or who were looking uh, to sign up for the vaccination drive in Maharashtra as well? Absolutely, absolutely, Tarima, because in the morning when people came, uh, they were uh, they came with the COVID app and they were continuously saying that uh, after initial process, it is not going ahead. We'll try to uh, go across a few people and we'll ask them, uh, ma'am, I would like to know, uh, did you register yourself on a COVID app or on no, the website? we just uh, walked in here uh, as we are senior citizens and they registered us there immediately. Okay. And then we, we were waiting and then after all these... A lot of the second dose people were over, then they took us in. But uh, uh, were you aware of that? That uh, yeah. you have to register, no, you have to register on the website. But uh, there was also uh, some this thing that in case those who have not registered, there is a walk-in facility okay. also. So, you opted for so we live nearby, so we said let's try it out. Okay, so we have uh, we have a case study here. Where they are clearly saying that there was a kind of a, there is a kind of a option uh, of uh, people can directly reach at the center, the walk-in option. And the uh, lady with whom we spoke just now, she said I stay nearby. That's why I decided to directly reach at the center and uh, uh, register, uh, get get uh, 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 herself registered. So uh, even uh, as I said, Tanima, in the morning also when we had worked with a lot of people, uh, they were not aware of a COVID uh, website, the portal. They were continuously saying that we are not getting uh, any uh, response uh, after uh, initial process on the COVID app. And that's why we decided to reach at... Uh, uh, the venue or the, uh, uh, or the vaccination center so that we can register ourselves directly. Right, Mayuresh and Shrija there, thank you so much for getting us the pulse on the ground today on the first day of the phase two of vaccine drive where certain people did face a bit of confusion on the registration process but nonetheless now they have in fact the vaccination process for phase two is clearly underway. Now, there was confusion on the ground, as we mentioned, on registration process in, on COVID. And Times Network's Gurpreet spoke to the first person who got vaccinated in Chandigarh, who spoke about this particular problem of the registry, of registering on COVID. Take a look at this. For the registration, did you face any problem? Because we have seen that some glitches on the online process also. You had just walked in. So can you explain to our viewers that uh, how did you uh, get registered? The system... Uh the software doesn't seem to be working. I tried to register online first and uh, it did take my Aadhaar and other details but it didn't uh, give me any other next step. So I came to this hospital and uh, they also have tried and uh, they also facing the same uh, problem now. But uh, I believe that uh, this is a temporary glitch. Now we have given all the details and based on that only they have finally given us the So there's yet another voice from the ground there in Chandigarh where there were also reports of glitches being reported on the COVID website. Remember, the important point to note, which is coming out from that government clarification a short while back is that the app is meant for administrative work as of now. And it is primarily the website, the COVID website on which uh, people, beneficiaries who are eligible for this particular phase can register.